and welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel if you've never been here before. Today I've got my quarter scale Donatello! She's a little happy. A little bit happy. <laughs> We've been looking for Donnie forever, ever since Jason got his wrath. And he's been impossible to find. He's been like nowhere that didn't cost a million dollar shipping. Well, he's, he's around. He's just <laughs> only around in the States and mostly places that don't ship to Canada, I find, or charge way too much. Way, way, way too uh, much. But we were in Maine a few weeks ago and we found a Donnie. And I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, put him up here. Jeez. He's so big, he barely fits on the screen. <laughs> so that's why I was holding him and hugging him. But yeah, I'm super, super excited because ever since Jason got his quarter scale wrap, who is right here, by the way? Who is right here? Always nearby. Can you get out? There's Johnny Tello. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since we got Raph and I saw what these quarter scales really, really look like, I desperately wanted my Donnie. So I'm super, super excited that we finally got the NECA quarter scale Donatello, and I am very eager to rip him out of the box. So I guess I will break out the shredder. Very yeah. And this is probably going to take a while because. You remember opening the rack? I'm gonna need the TIE Fighters, <laughs> so. So the magic of cuts. <gasps> Got that new figure smell. <laughs> it begins! Chris Ty's on the bottom too. Take the TIE Fighters to the beard today. <laughs> it's doing No Shave November. How did I do? It's feeling not bad, okay, eh? You're pretty it's less fuzzy. smaller than last year, but I, I did alright. I started really, really low to the face this year, so. I can't wait to shave it off. I'll take the time for to do it if I have to, so. Alright. That should be the last one. And there you go, Tracy. There is your Donatello. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. These are so, so awesome, you guys. Okay. First thing I always notice with the quarter scales is the skin texture. It is so cool. It like really looks like a turtle. It's got all those like scales and the paint is perfect. They got the, all the different uh, shades of green and there's like little bits of yellow here and little there. Little faded spots just like the costumes in the movie. Yeah exactly. Yeah. You can see little bits on the legs and on his beak and everything. It is so so cool. The um, the leather bits like the the bits around his uh, elbows and knees and the wrists and everything. They're, they're obviously they're not leather but they really really look like leather. Like they're yeah. Perfectly molded and they're, painted. They're very, like very leather. well painted. The paint jobs on these are absolutely immaculately yeah. done. Like, as well as the belt and everything. Every, all Nexus quarter scale stuff is absolutely fantastic for the price you pay for it. It's super, absolutely fantastic. Super amazing. The shell as well, absolutely beautifully painted with all the nice grooves and everything. The back of the shell is wicked. Like I love all the designs, yeah. and it's just it's shaded so nicely and everything. Like. It seriously looks like a turtle shell. Yeah. It's awesome. I it's, love it so much. It's just jumping right out of the movie screen. Yes, it's it, that fantastically it really, done. Really looks like a miniature version of the suit. So so cool. And you got up on his face, whereas Raph kind of looks more grumpy and no, he angry. Doesn't. Raph looks he, all he right. Looks, he looks rude. No. <laughs> yeah, well, he is rude, but he looks all right. He's got attitude for sure, but. But whereas <laughs> Raph's face. As you've seen there. It's just because he's got a scar, isn't it? <laughs> it You're judging yeah, him on his scar. scar. But Donnie has kind of a, a focused kind of a look on him. Like he's assessing the situation. And you can see his face I, is a little bit different. He has like, the beak is longer. It almost looks like he's got an open Yes, yeah, because, the, I, you know, the first uh, Turtles movie is the first time we really got to see... Uh, the different personalities of the turtles showcasing their features. Yeah, you know, so and where where in the cartoon they in were the, identical. In the old comics you know. and in the the cartoons, they they all had distinct personalities, but they were all really carbon copy of yeah. each other. Like they were just different palette swaps. Where where the where, first movie was the first time yeah. we really got to see them. They they took some different. initiative to differ yeah. them a little bit. Which is one one thing I loved about the new cartoon. Oh yeah, by the way. yeah, that was but, great. Uh, but yeah, yeah this anyway. It, it's got Donnie's personality in the face for sure. I love the way they do the masks. So you got all the nice little grooves in the mask and it's molded around their face with the eyebrows and everything. But then you've got a little bit of fabric in the back. So you got that little bit of waviness to the bits that are hanging down. He's got all these little details like the little, uh, the little stitches on the belt there and the little blocks on the front of it with the attachment there. There's stitches on his elbows and everything. Like, there's just, oh, he's got these spots on his skin, like 
just every detail that they could think of from the actual suits from the movie, they fit into these figures so that they look amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. And he comes with all kinds of hand parts, just like Raphael did. He comes with a slice of pizza, multiple hands, of course. Of course, uh, lots of hands, so you can do yeah. all kinds of different poses. I can't. Oh, that one was a little stuck on me there. <laughs> so yeah, he's got what, Thumbs up. two hands on him, and the couple on the bottom are really packaged in there tight. <laughs> so, there we go. So two hands on him, and he's got what, one, two, three, four, five. So he's got seven hands, so different so possibilities for posing them. A couple of different little positions for the fingers. I like the thumbs ups. Yeah, slice pizza. And he comes with the TCRI. I really so like that. So you got cool. the ooze canister. Yeah. Radioactive material. Very, very nice. <laughs> and what would Donnie be without his bow staff? Of <laughs> so. course. He's got to have his bow and it's very nicely done too. It looks like real wood for sure. And it's got the wrappings all through the middle there. So you can put him in all kinds of poses where he's holding the staff. Well, it looks like he's got his hands ready for the uh, staff right now. So. And just so you know, he's also got uh, these little ties in the back. So if you wanted, you could slide it through there and have it just hanging on his back. Now, like I said before, whenever I freshly open um, NECA stuff, I don't like to just yeah. go in and, and bull work it because you sometimes be they're stiff. Careful. So I like to kind of work the joints just a little bit. Uh, not, not tough, not like extreme or nothing like that but just work them a little bit just kind of warm them up because fresh out of the box they do come a little stiff yeah, and he's you don't got, want to oh, accidentally crush he's got them. the ratchet legs too so <laughs> for once you get it in the posability you want it just kind of locks in there right eh? so got those ratchet legs but yeah and they've got lots of articulation like oh, joints yeah. all over they look that ratchety noise is normal out. don't yeah. worry about <laughs> <laughs> so it is it's ratcheted legs so yeah. But yeah, just working the joints Once a little bit here. Once we start uh, moving them around a little bit and playing around with them, they'll get loosened up a bit and tons of articulation. You can get them into a lot of different poses. Yeah. So it's really awesome and we're definitely going to be playing with the different hands to see exactly how we want it. Okay. I think I probably would like him to be holding his staff because that's just... Oh yeah, of course. Come on. Awesome, Morgan. That's classic. Cool. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie, guys. This guy's got figure arthritis pretty bad. <laughs> Like, a lot of his joints are not coming out for me. I'm trying to pose him with his uh, bow here, but a lot of the joints just will not go right now. I don't know if we've just had him sitting in the uh, cold basement too long, not getting filmed or something, but I doubt it. Yeah, Who he, knows how long he was sitting in storage at a store, well, right? Up too, but he's, but he's really, really stiff yeah. compared to Raph. He is, um, he is locked up tight. When I opened Raph, I didn't have much trouble at all. I pretty much started... I wiggled him a bit and then started moving him, but he is really locked up, and I don't want to go ganking on him right yet because he'll probably snap somewhere or something, so I'm probably going to have to do like the water trick to kind yeah. of, uh, the warm water trick to kind of loosen him up a bit because he has really 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 bad figure arthritis <laughs> right now so yeah so we don't want to push yeah. his limits right now i don't want to crack him yet but i i we, you know obviously i'm going to get pictures up on yeah, our instagram we'll, we'll account get some and stuff. excellent pictures afterwards uh, yeah <laughs> but uh yeah because he's going to have to be uh messed around with a little bit to kind of get rid of some of this uh creaking so. i don't want to harm my poor donnie no <laughs> no because he's these are like some of the best figures I've ever seen oh, uh, sure. in this price range. So since we started looking at the quarter scale NECAs, oh my god, and the Ninja Turtles in particular yeah. are some of the coolest turtle things I have ever seen. Well, these are a childhood. You know what exactly. I mean? Like this that, was that's, every that's a big thing. It's every kid in the '90s can remember that moment that they saw the turtles jump out after that logo when it came on the movie screen. Exactly. Eh? You seen that shadow. <laughs> Such a huge thing. The shadow was on the wall and it was like, yeah! And then the Turtles logo popped up and you're like, damn, I'm going to see some turtles. I'm going to see some <laughs> real turtles and this is going to be awesome. So, so. much excitement. It's, a, it's definitely a huge yeah. nostalgia thing to, yeah. for sure. And like I said, you guys know Donnie is my turtle. <laughs> I love Donnie so much. He was always my favorite turtle. And as soon as Jason got Raph yeah. and I saw how good he looks, I was like, oh my I god, was, I, was I have to have Donnie. I was content with us just having the Raph uh, because Raph was my turtle, but then she decided she wanted her Donnie. So now we have half the team. So you know what's going to happen is we're going to track down the rest of the team. It's just going to happen. <laughs> well, you so got to have all I'm not going to have brothers. half the team. 
I get my turtle, I get your turtle, but I'm not gonna have half. The, like if you, if Raph was just your turtle, we could have been done. We could have been happy. We could have been over. No, now we gotta spend the money. Yep. So now we gotta trade in more stuff to make in more funds. Oh, well, look at him, he's so cool. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> yeah, they're worth every penny. <laughs> These are probably now, uh, I'd say probably my favorite thing in our collection. Thank you. Oh, moment. yeah, yeah. For sure. They're way, way up there. We, we've got a lot of uh, awesome things in our collection, but uh, as far as figures go, these are probably him and his brother, Raph. They're probably my favorite uh, figures <gasps> in our so collection cool. right now, because these just scream us. You know what I mean? That this is us. This is our childhood. Uh, I can't be any any happier to have these uh, on our shelf. I, I'm going to have to do up a special shelf for them. I might have to remove one of these shelves here so I can make a special shelf to get them on there because they're too big to fit too big. in the uh, <laughs> setups we have now. <laughs> but uh, We definitely have to have something set up because it's so good. It is. I it's love awesome. him so much. I can't stop looking at his face because yeah. his face is perfect. And I said, I'll get some uh, <laughs> great shots of him uh, once I get rid of this figure arthritis he's got going on here. Uh, <laughs> some, some twist, but a lot of the, the bending joints are just really, really stiff right now, so I'm going to have to mess around with that a, a little bit without... Uh, well, break. <laughs> so. But in the meantime, I am so super excited. I love him so much. I love that he comes with the pizza and the ooze canister and everything, all the extra hands. I just, I love these figures so yeah. much, and I'm so happy to have I love have that Donnie the uh, headbands are clothed too. Oh, yeah. Now, one of the things I don't know if you mentioned or not, because you were just off on a tangent, just talking all over the place <laughs> and had no focus whatsoever. So I'm going to mention that. The, one of the most detailed things on these figures that really, really capture the figures entirely, and it's one of the, the hardest and most important things on any figure, I find, is the eyes. Yeah, for Now, sure. the eyes on these figures, it, they look plucked right out of the movie. You know what I mean? They, they are so well done. They're so well painted. They've got like a little gloss over them almost. Yeah, they really, they and, actually look like uh, like false eyes. Yeah. Like actual false eyes. They're shaded well. Yeah. They're all colored well. Very, very well done. They got the nice sockets all grooved in. Very perfectly done. And the same thing I said with the wrath. It's just hilarious, but it makes the figure all that much more, you know, better in my opinion. You can see the neckline where the uh, <laughs> crappy, well, they weren't crappy. They were actually yeah, they really were well done for the knives, but, yeah. but they in, in shots of the movie, you could see the neckline, right? So it's got the neckline where the actors would put the animatronic helmets on it, and that somehow makes it even better it does. to me. I don't so just, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's just awesome. that little extra throwback. Yeah. All they need to do is make it so you can open his mouth so that in that scene where they open the mouth too wide and you can see Buddy's face if you pause the screen. That they need that. They need so they need bad. the thing where you open his mouth and there's Buddy's face going, Ah! <laughs> so, that would just be frightening. It would. It would be terrifying, actually. It would be like afraid out of a Ninja Turtles horror movie or something. But very, very cool figure. I love these figures. I'm going to try to get uh, the rest of the figures and then do a video on like the whole set yeah. for you guys to see. So, I don't know. This is awesome. <laughs> Super Amazingly excited, you guys. I absolutely love him. Let me know what you guys think of my quarter-scale Donatello. And my Raph! I guess you can talk about Raph if you want yeah, to. Yeah, Raph. Raph's all good. <laughs> Raph can stand up on his own right now. His joints are working, so. Let us know what you guys think about these guys in the comment section below. Let us know if you have any of them for yourself. Haha. Uh -huh. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement. I gave you a little thumbs up. Jason from TV on Twitter. And of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye!